I get some crazy stuff in my inbox all of the time. Sometimes it's tech and sometimes it's other stuff. And 99.9% .9 of the time I say no. But what if for an entire month I said yes? You may have heard that starter before, and that's because MKBHD, one of the most popular tech YouTubers in the world, has just released an episode where he said yes to all of his emails for an entire month to see what arrived. Well, little does he know I've been doing that for the past three years. And believe me, those that have stuck around that long will remember some rather strange things like the stuffed dead bird or the pair of hands. What's the weirdest thing that you guys remember? Pop it in the comments below. I'd really love you to jog my memory of what you think was the weirdest possible thing that I've ever been sent, because believe me, it has been a ride. Let's get cracking. To start with, we're gonna go with a bag. All right, so we've got the Charge Tree Go by STM. Quick piece of feedback though for STM. Bit of useless plastic in there, single, use plastic to house the actual device. Not needed. Transfer to cardboard, please. But let's take a look at the device. So this feels really well built. It's quite sleek, actually. Hold on a minute. How does this work? What does that button do? Does that button do anything? Oh, hey, oh. Okay, so that's for your Apple Watch. Ah. Oh, do you know, I like that. So you've got a little space for your phone to charge. You've got a space for your Apple Watch that kind of... Look at that is a great design. Hey, I'm well in for that. And then you've got a space there for your AirPods at the back. And it's got this rubber grip on the bottom. That is so cool. Then when you don't take it off and you just... That has got to be the best travel piece of kit for someone who's got three Apple devices. You phone you're watching your airpods that is a good way to start this episode okay well, it looks to me like we've got some kind of lav mic setup i've had loads of these recently they seem to be quite a bit of a fad this kind of setup where you have a kit that charges some wireless lav mics if you can get it out of the bloody box like this and you can open it up and you have the whole Ooh, actually that's cool. So you've got the bit that goes on the camera and the bit that then goes on you. Oh, hey, up! there's a nice color display on that though. That looks cool. So this is the sound from the Full Aim 1000 Pro and overall it's pretty decent. It's nothing to go bragging home about, but it's not too bad. And it has everything that I'd want. It's got a mic on the devices themselves. It comes with lapel mics. Overall, this is actually a really comprehensive piece of kit. Oh, here we go, here we go. This is my... <laughs> so we've got here, <laughs> we've got a Kotsoko, Kotsoko scalp massager. Excellent. Do you know, I don't... oh no! Okay, that's cool though. It's like a little wireless charger for it. That's quite cool. So that goes on there and can charge. Got some different style feet on there. Let's see if it has any charge. Oh, 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 actually, do you know what? It sort of feels like it's ripping my hair out though, because they're, they're like rubber. And yet another episode where you're watching a grown man massage himself. Those that are new to this type of episode. This is just the start. Ooh, I don't know what this is. Okay, what do we got? We've got two of these, and these are... Oh, they appear to be torches. Hmm, okay, well, never say no. This is a tiny, tiny little thing. All metal design, really, really nice. Very, well, quite heavy, actually, really, for such a size. It's got a little clip on the back that is apparently unyielding. So, oh, there's a light now on the top. 
Okay, so click the button four times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's a light on now. Oh, it's not particularly bright. That's very underwhelming. So this is the Wuben Night XO. And if I hold it in, it should change brightness. Oh, there we are. Oh, there we are. Oh, there we are. Jesus. Whoa! Jesus! Wow! Hey, that is awesome! You wear it on your... Look at that! That is bloody hell, that is bright. Look at that! That's not even the brightest. Bloody no! <laughs> that is a fantastic torch. That is a, such a cool piece of kit. I really like this torch and that is going to find its way on my bag for sure. First headphones of today's episode, we have the Open Rock Pro. All right, lots of stuff in the box here. Loads of stuff, loads of gubbins. Not the best presentation in the world. The case is very unusual. Very plasticky. And that's, that's kind of nice actually, it's kind of good. It's very big. That is the biggest one I've ever seen. Okay, that's interesting. These, first of all, haven't got any charge, so we're gonna have to charge them up before we give them a go. But these, interestingly, are open ear. So we'll charge these up and see how they sound once they've gotten some charge. Let's try a small one. Mm. Okay, this is a Mossy Ryu, Mossy Ryu, Mossy Ryu, USB C. Power adapter. Okay, uh, it's kind of got this kind of blue steel look, which is quite nice. Two USB 3, uh, 3.1, one USB 2. We've got SD card, micro SD card, two 4K HDMI. That's quite comprehensive. Oh. I don't know what this is. Still don't know what this is. Okay, this is the Joby Wavo Plus. So I'm a bit of a mixed bag with Joby. Some of the stuff is fantastic, some of it less so, but I believe I've tried a Joby mic before, which was the, what was it called? The Wavo Pod. And that was an excellent little microphone. Okay, so it's got a little kind of bounce cage, which seems quite good. This is actually quite nice. It's a lot smaller than my other mic, which I'm using at the moment. I don't know if you can hear that. That's someone strumming. There is always someone strumming every time I come to film, all the time. It's crazy. But this Joby, this Wavo Plus is incredible for a couple of reasons. First of all, it sounds really, really good, but it's got tons of little settings that you can do. It's got a safety track feature, but the best thing that it does is that it turns off automatically when you turn your camera off. Now I've used other things in the past, I used the Comica mic as you saw earlier, and you have to manually turn that on and off. And the amount of times that I've missed shots, or I've not taken the audio of shots because I forgot to turn it on, or I've left it on and the batteries run out, is unbelievable. I cannot believe that this automatically powers down when it realises that the camera is off. And then when it, you turn the camera on, it turns on itself. And there's a great big green light on the front of it too to show that it's actually it's on and it's recording your voice. How cool is that? Top marks for this. Oh yes, I'm so excited for this. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Oh my God, you can hear how heavy the bloody thing is. What is that? Oh, hold on. It says tree sound one on it. Right, this, it must be a speaker. Oh my God. Oh, this is crazy. This is actually crazy. Look at this thing. What on earth? I mean, there's only so many times I can say that, but look at, it's like a gnome's hat. <laughs> yeah, it's like a little, uh, like, a, like a wool bag or something. Oh, okay, we've got the charger. I see, I see. A little wool bag. I mean, this is presented remarkably, absolutely remarkably.
I don't know what to say. Whoa, this thing looks insane. That must be on and off. Well, I've never seen anything like it. And it comes with a free hat as well. Look at this. It's like the sorting hat. I wonder what house I'm in. You belong in Slytherin. Hmm. Okay, let's get this plugged in. I'm so excited. Turning the knob. It's got light on it. Oh, that's cool. <gasps> oh, I like that. And this is now flashing red. So I hope that means, here we are, it's ready to pair. Holy sh I, the bass, you can, oh my god! That's rumbling the entire floor. Ooh. There are some downsides to it. But that has got a great sound and the bass is, I didn't quite expect it to be that good. That is awesome. That is so cool. Do you know what? I might even keep it in here. I'm going to put that over there right now. That was one of the most imposing speakers that I've ever, ever tested. Wow. Okay. <laughs> We've got the Creative, okay, these are a company that have been around for a long time, Creative Pebble Pro, minimalist USB speakers with Bluetooth 5.3 and customizable RGB lighting. Actually, these are quite nice. Right up my style, we've got black and like a goldy bronze. Oh, well, these actually are quite neat, look at that. They are a little bit light, they're a bit light. And they do sort of remind me a little bit of the type of PC speakers you'd see in the 1990s. But, because look at this, look at that. It's not exactly modern thinking, but they're not hideous. They're all right. They're kind of upwards as well, so when you're sat there, they're kind of going into your ears, which is good. As expected, they're not the best speakers you're ever going to hear, but I will say that they actually sound better than I thought they were going to. It looks like this type of speaker has come on leaps and bounds since 1990, and they actually look pretty cool as well. The Audio Ghost custom 40mm dynamic driver over the ear headphone with a detachable cable. Okay. Look. Okay, minimalist black packaging here. Whoa, a up. These are actually really nice. They've got gold and black. We've got this kind of smooth exterior here with some breathing vents, I would assume, with a lovely gold exterior. And something that I've not felt on a pair of headphones before, and immediately becomes apparent, is this kind of velour, like a velvet ear cup. Maybe I have felt that before, but not in a long, long while. There's a lot of plastic on this there. Certainly most stuff tends to opt for uh, leather or pleather because it's obviously better, doesn't harbor bacteria. Uh, that is interesting. There's no other options in here either. So you're kind of stuck with that. Uh, it looks to me like these are not powered by batteries. They're powered by the actual device you're plugging them into. Hmm, actually really, really comfortable. Really, really, really comfortable. Uh, we're going to have to get these plugged in. I'm quite excited to see how good these are. Yep, to be honest, these are exactly what I thought they would be like. They're very balanced. They're very even. Exactly what I want from reference headphones. And they're actually pretty good. There's an excellent range. I'm not sure about the velour, though. I imagine that'll get a bit hot. Hmm. In this box... Right, this is a bit of an odd one. On the front of it, it's got the word MIND written on it. <laughs> Literally, I have no idea what this could be at all. Here we go. Ooh, what on earth? I still don't know what this is. Still got the word MIND on it. I guess is what the hell... Where's the bloody zip? Oh, okay, there we are. Nope, still don't know what this is. 
Mind. Mind Lax Sleeping Mat M2 Manual. Ah, oh, it's got a bloody American plug as well. What does this do? It's got a cable. Stand, it's now flashing. Okay, Mind Lax is a relaxation sleep app with hardware to help you adjust and plan your sleep. I've just got music playing now from my phone. Main function area. Anything actually happening in there? I don't get it! I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually have to Google, this is the first time. In a long while, I'm gonna have to Google something because I don't even know what I'm looking at. Right, here we go. There's a better description over on Kickstarter where it's at. So Mind Black Sleeping Mat is a revolutionary sleeping tool designed to help you fall asleep quickly and improve your overall sleep quality. Our innovative multi-frequency waveguide system transmits sleep-enhancing sound and vibrations to the brain, effectively strengthening the alpha brain wave that is essential for sleep and quality of sleep and produces rapid, deep relaxation. So it's got like low vibrations that's sending up. I don't even know if I'm sitting in the right place or not. But what it's doing is it's with the music sending some vibrations around just lightly. This actually is quite nice. It's like a sound bath. Mm. With some very gentle vibrations. Really nice until you start putting some drum and bass through it. <laughs> Wait, I wonder if you can play your own music through it. <laughs> you can! <laughs> and it's vibrating, so it's only the speakers that are vibrating beneath beneath you. <laughs> so the sound and the vibrations from the speakers combine together to make this relaxing experience. Don't be listening to any music. <laughs> it's actually quite fun. Let's hope for a bit more normality. That doesn't sound like normal, does it? Oh, what is this now? Renergy. Very odd. I'm hoping something inside one of these boxes will go with that and make more sense. Okay, I've got a box that says Shargeek on it. It's not the unusual name. Shargeek. Shargeek. What do you think this could be? Oh my lord. Oh, I've no idea what that is. What is that? It's in. It's got lots of like, circuitry in it. This is cool. Whatever it is. Okay, I can see inside it. That's the first, okay, there's big, big, big batteries inside it. There's a screen, lots of little chips. Uh, really nice yellow cable to go with it as well. It's a 100 watt portable power bank. Okay, this is the other one. Oh, wow. It's got a full color display. Bloody hell, this is, this is a serious piece of kit. This is the Shard Geek. Storm 2, and it's got the output in watts in and out. Uh, it's got temperature 
on it as well. Possibly amount of time remaining charging? I don't really know. It's the first time I've seen inside a portable battery and I must say I'm quite impressed. Oh my God, it's got settings. Display sleep time, I can power it off, exit. Whoa, wee, I mean, this is, this is some serious stuff. This is probably one of the most advanced mobile batteries that I've ever seen. And despite its size, it's actually quite a weighty device. All right, well, it looks like we have another USB adapter. Wasn't the, wasn't the first, might not be the last either. Mini Sporu, this one's by, hold on, wasn't the last one by them as well? No, no, it's very similar though. We've got Mosiriu and Mini Sporu. Must be a latest fad of naming, hmm, don't know. Uh, okay, so what have we got? We've got a USB-C port there and we've got four, four USB, five USB-C out. Can't say much more, let's move on. Ooh, what's that? Okay, we've got the, way up, that looks quite industrial. We've got the Exa E1000 WT wireless gaming headset. These guys, I've tried so many of their stuff, and generally speaking, pretty good value. They're not the best in the world, but they're not also the worst. What they are is good value. You don't pay a great deal for what I would consider to be okay sound. Oh, that's quite industrial. Comfortable. I like the way that kind of folds up out of the way. That's neat. That seems neat enough. Yeah, supports PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, supports everything basically. Let's go and have a go. So these are actually really quite good for gaming. They're going to be excellent. I like these. They're actually pretty cool. Oh, looks like we've got a couple of things in here, not just one. Something. Something. We've got a, ooh, we've got a 70 my dash cam Omni view. The future, I can see the future with this. Oh my God. I wonder if they'll give people money back if they can't see the future. False advertising. Okay, the design of this, hello, I'm my ex. Great, thank you. Okay. This seems interesting. Whoa, uh, do you know what? That's actually quite an interesting design. It's got like a, it seems like it might be motorized. Right, so we've got it hooked up now. We're in the car and it's hooked up just here. So we're gonna turn it on and have a quick look and see what it does. See if this motorized thing actually does something. Hey, what on earth is that doing? Look at that. There's a little display on the back here, which is showing the uh, current viewing. Under. Shoot vlog. No. What's it doing? Get ready to say hi to the camera. What? Then it gives you 10 seconds of recording time. Shoot left. Shoot inside. There we are. Look at that. If that's not the most advanced dash cam that you've ever seen, then I will eat this hat because that's insane. That is so cool. Uh, 10 out of 10. Nearing the end of today's episode. It has been a big one because there's been a bit of a backlog of stuff, but the Owltron. Owltron. It's like the Decepticons Owltrons. Okay, this is an owl mode, bat mode, spider mode. Two pack of Wi-Fi smart indoor cameras. Okay, that's cool. So we've got the plugs in there as well. We've got everything we need. And here's, that's such a simple design. They don't feel, I'm not gonna beat around the bush here. They don't feel like the most premium of products that I've ever uh, laid my hands upon. But if they are budget, then it could be of interest to some people, especially because you get two in there. If you just want to kick your house out, with some really cheap Wi-Fi cameras, then this could be a way of doing it. Although, what have they done to stick this on? Hmm, let's try them out. Right, so having given it a little go, I conclude that the quality isn't exactly the best, nor is the sound, but they are quite cheap. It comes to about 30 pounds per camera buying the set too. So, what do you think about the quality versus value? It's not that bad. Not the best, but okay.
What in what is that? What on earth? It's a magnetic wireless power bank, but another one that you can see inside. This is strange. Have you noticed this? Every single month, you get a lot of stuff that ends up sort of being a similar theme. Inside, invisible, headphones, speakers, that kind of thing. These are, oh, do you know what? That is actually really cool. So it's a slim, tiny little power bank with your wireless thing on top. And it is a fascinating design. That really is quite an interesting thing. We've got a little button on the bottom that shows a little green light on the back. Don't know what that is. USB-C charging. Uh, I believe it looks like it's got magnets, so it may. <sighs> That's neat. That is super neat. Capacity is 5,000 mAh, so that'll do your phone. Uh, it's aluminium outside with a glass front, the see through, you can see all the insides. I think that's such a cool design, and obviously it supports uh, the MagSafe technology as well. I have to say, I really actually like this. That's probably one of the most cool power banks I've seen. Not a heavy one, actually, this one. Okay. We have got this. We've got a baguette. Not a baguette, it's a baguette. BG800 Max Robotic Vacuum Cleaner. You all know that I love robot vacuums now. I'm a complete convert. So, tried uh, some Bagot stuff before. Really, really good. I know a few of you guys have also got Bagot stuff because I've had some comments from you about uh, Bagot. I think they're quite good value, supposedly. I'm not sure again what this is. But we'll have to get this up. It's got a 3,000... Uh, PA suction on this one, which is pretty good, it's respectable, and it looks like it does mopping as well. The design is quite simple. It looks like a no frills device, so you're not going to get super intelligent obstacle avoidance, all that nonsense. We've got a ton of spares in the box. We're going to have to get this up and running, and let's have a look and see how well it performs. It looks good, it performs well. Overall, it's a simplistic piece of kit that seems to perform very, very well. But one thing I do like is the sound. Sometimes robot vacuums can be quite high pitch. This has a much lower pitch and therefore makes it a bit nicer to have around while you're working. So that is everything in today's episode. No, it's not, it's not everything. We've got these to test. I don't, I'm not going to lie, I don't really have massively high hopes. Oh, they don't sit on your ear how I expected, actually. That's a bit peculiar. Well, they don't come off your ear. I thought they were genuinely going to fall off. Actually, that's quite impressive. Okay, we're connected. Mm, not sure that sounded that good, but we're going to try it. Oh, I'll take back what I said. Actually, they're not bad so far. Well, actually, they're really good. Oh, look, they're not bad, actually. I would say these are some of the best open ears that I've tried. Although the problem is, and I'm going to be completely honest with you, they're just not going to compare to in-ear uh, headphones or over-the-ear headphones that kind of cup because the speakers are often a lot smaller. You're going to lose a lot of that kind of punch with the bass. So they're not going to be as good. But if you're in a particular need or you need to hear your surroundings whilst also listening to music that you don't want to disturb everyone else with, the Open Rock by One Audio, Open Rock Pro, are actually pretty solid. But obviously now we are coming to the very, very end of today's episode. And as always, I like to give out a rosette for the best item in today's episode. And come on, guys, you know exactly what it's going to be. I have to move that out of the way to go get it, though, because I put it over there. That was silly. This thing absolutely wins it hands down just for its absolute craziness i mean i've seen some crazy speakers i've reviewed half of gravistar's lineup but this is just something else but not in a bad way this is like good crazy really good crazy there's some awesome stuff with this i, I genuinely think it's so cool 
It is an eye-catching architectural piece of tech, and I love that. The Trititri, I'm going to have to email them and try and work out how the hell you're supposed to pronounce that. Uh, <laughs> the Tree Sound 1 by Trititri is fantastic. Absolutely amazing. And that wins today's episode. Guys, if you enjoyed today's unboxing, you enjoyed seeing these, welcome back. Thank you for coming back. Make sure you hit that subscribe if you're new and hit that thumbs up. And if any of you do watch MKBHD, please email him and tell him he stole my idea. But I'll let him have it. Because I'm kind like that. Hmm.